I want to set the record straight. I don't know the first thing about voodooism or voodoo, period. I am from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, born and raised. It's also called the Red Stick, um, Dirty South, whatever you want to call it. And I lived 45 minutes from uh, New Orleans, which Baton Rouge is the capital of New Orleans. It is a beautiful place, flat, straight, you know, something to see once or twice in your life. But that's where I was born. When I came up north, I had no idea about what people thought of me. Um, but what made me come here now to talk to you is I was watching a podcast interview. The young lady was, hold on a second. The young lady was being interviewed and the first thing the podcast interviewer asked her was about voodoo. She's from Alabama. I don't know where that stigma comes from that everybody that comes from Louisiana, even the princess and the frog, that was some, uh, you know, witchcraft there too. But I don't know anything about witchcraft. I don't believe in witchcraft um, or voodoo, but I am from Baton Rouge. And I, when I came up here, I didn't know that people thought that of me. I was wondering often why people would be my friends, especially the same people, of same skin tone as myself. Um, women in particular. Um, I heard once that people from Louisiana are like, we're not true to who we are. And so people wasn't my friend or that children slept with their dads. That was one thing I was told was like shocked to hear that someone would think that of me by not even knowing one thing about me, but because of where I'm from, they have already put a stigma or a um, place some, something on me that's not true. Um, and a lot of people from the South don't know anything about witchcraft or voodoo. I wish y'all would get that straight. Um, I'm a blessed child of the King and everywhere I go, I represent who I am. And I would like you guys to reconsider your thoughts when it comes to people from Louisiana. Just because we're from a place don't mean we are what people have said or written or believe. Um, that's why it's important to get to know someone before you judge them. I'm a child of the king one more time. And so is many of us from Louisiana and I'm sort of saddened by this thought that people actually think that if you're from, oh, just like, let's see, what is that that happens in New Orleans, Mardi Gras, and Mardi Gras is a time where people, and not everyone, goes to New Orleans to celebrate those colors of green, purple, and what's the other color? Green, purple, and gold. Um, on Bourbon Street, people go to New Orleans to pretty much do like they do in other places where you're allowed to sin and not be judged. Um, throw beads and celebrate like they do in China. But it doesn't mean that we worship any... I'm not even talking about everybody. I'm talking about myself. I don't worship but one God. And he is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And before you judge me, and for those of you who already judge me based on what you think you know about me, you're wrong. And you ought to be ashamed of yourself for even um, not getting to know a person before you judge them or shunning a person because you think you know something about them. You absolutely don't. That's just like people coming from uh, Africa. We are Americans over here in America. I was born and raised in America, yet people have a stigma and say we are African-American, but people from actually from Africa do not see us as Africans, nor do we see ourselves as Africans. I was born and raised here. Maybe my great, 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 and whoever greats before we were stripped from Africa, we were, we are descendants of Africa, but we never been to Africa. So as far as I'm concerned, I am an American. 
um, the color of my skin is brown, okay? Not black, because black has, is absent of color. You're not white, because it's absent of many colors. So we are all shades of brown. Get that straight too, okay? Um, why they have black, Af black, white, Caucasian, and all these different things on the paper for you to sign is just stupid and beyond my knowledge. And do I care to understand it? No. Because whoever is behind making rules and regulations for everybody doesn't regulate my life. But I want to tell you to get it straight. Just because I'm from Baton Rouge don't mean anything about, don't mean I know anything about Buddhism or any of that crap. Um, and that's maybe why a lot of people, when I think back on it now, a lot of people didn't want to be my friends. And that's okay. It's your loss. Because I have real sisters and people in my corner that are there to stay, giving God all glory, honor, and praise. I'm going to say this one more time. Stop judging people before you get to know them. And don't judge me by the color of my skin because my color of my skin is not important as the person who I am. Get that straight.